Hello, I am Mal and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. Alright, let's jump in and find ourselves something to do. Said Ali Dumplik will be done here shortly. What do we got? Oh, a small scout, okay. Let's try out some laser cannons, shall we? Uh, actually, can we? Yes, yes, we can. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's go on aggressive. Shoot this thing down. That's right, Scout. You're going down. If I can catch you. Good lord. We're Get over there. Closing on target. There we go. Oh, we didn't get a crash site. Alright. You have 391 bucks, though. Let's take a look at the hangar. Okay, we're full here. I'm actually going to go ahead and order an interceptor for South America. Yep. And we got to leave these guys put for now. Okay, satellite don't blink in a day. Contact detected. It's another small scout, okay. Oh, go up on defensive. Why is this all zoomed in? That was weird. Huh. Get him. Get him. There we go. Come on. Turn it. Come on. Oh. A landed scout. Yeah, you know what that is, right? That's a that's a trap. For those of you not familiar, it's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, this is Admiral Akbar approved episode now. Mm-hmm. So what happens in Long War is occasionally they'll have these smaller ships um, with like a ridiculous number of aliens on them for the size. So my guess is that's exactly what that is. So what happens is if your threat level gets too high, a couple different things can happen. Um, the aliens can save up and they can attack XCOM HQ, or they can do one of these, um, you know, uh, trap, trap ships, right? Actually, that's not their, I don't remember what the heck they're actually called, but that's essentially what they are. So I'll put a relatively strong team together and then we'll go handle these guys. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, let's take a look at the team. Now, again, we have to take a really strong group for this one because... This is, I'm pretty confident, a, a trap. Um, so we're going to probably see some alien types that maybe we haven't even seen before. And there's going to be a ton of them coming out of this little tiny UFO. So starting off on the left here, we've got Jack Jarrett, a.k.a. The Hammer, one of our gunners. Tack vest, auto laser, a spare med kit, and a scope. Next, we've got Barbosa, Rocketeer, Tack vest, Laser Carbine, a Spear Rocket, and a Spear Shredder Rocket. Then we've got Leona, aka Shadow, our Sniper. Snapshot Sniper, that is. Tack Vest, Laser Sniper Rifle, High Capacity Mags, and a Laser Sight. Then we've got Martin, aka Ed, our Lieutenant Infantry Officer. Phalanx Armor, Heavy Laser Rifle, Alloy Plating, and a Scope. Andrew Wu, aka Nightmare, our Scout. Tack Armor. Laser Strike Rifle, Alloy Plating, and a Marksman Scope. We've got Vanguard, our Engineer. Phalanx Armor, Laser Rifle, set of HE Grenades, a set of AP Grenades. Hmm, maybe I should actually make... Might be better to carry, um... Flashbangs instead. I, I think I will. Just in case we need to, uh, you know, get some things locked down for a little bit. And then Hunter, our medic, tack vest, heavy laser rifle, a drum mag, and med kit. Why the drum mag? Well, because Hunter has suppression, and I want the plus two ammo. Yep. Okay, let's go. So that's kind of nice. I got two different soldiers I can suppress with. I think that'll come in handy. Prepare for landing. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. 
deep in the Nigerian interior. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Okay, that's the zone wall. Okay, and we're up against the zone wall. Interesting. Move towards this high ground, I guess. But we know exactly what we're up against. Okay, let's see. Where woo. On my way. Put the UFO right there. Yep, looks like. Okay. Well then, there now. let's set up like so. Steady weapon. Yep, oh, you get up front, up. since you're the engineer. And let's see. Hunter can hang out right there. Ed can hang out right here. Jack can move up. Hmm. Where do we want to put you, Jack? Well, I want Leona right here. Moving to position. And I don't want you to mess with her ability to sidestep or whatever. Actually, that's probably not going to be necessary, but that's okay. Let's actually move Jack over here. Okay, let's set steady weapon here. You've got sentinels. Let's go ahead and set overwatch. You can steady weapon. Overwatch. Okay, there we go. Okay, that would be mutons. And I hope that's just... Oh man, I hope that's not berserkers already. Because that would be kind of unfortunate. Okay, Jack, move over here. Nothing, huh? Okay. Move Maria up. So far, it's okay. I'm on it, Commander. Okay. Barbosa can relocate and steady weapon. On it. Hunter can move up. Moving to position. Ed can move up. Overwatch. Andrew, you move up a little bit. Steady weapon. We'll just overwatch with everyone else. Okay. We... Oh, here we go. Well, I'm not seeing anything that indicates it's a trap yet. Got some reaction shots. Let's go. Eighty-three percent. Gets a second shot. Nice. Ten crit. He gets a second shot because he's got Sentinel. Oh, they didn't move enough for him to take advantage of that. That's okay, though. Let's see. How about... We drop a grenade like this. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Let's see. Loud and clear, sir. You go right there, Andrew. See if you can take that guy out. Nice, good shot. He's down. He's down, and you have no line of sight to anything, huh? Interesting. What if we... Yeah, there we go, that's what I thought. Nice shot, nice shot. Okay, Moving. move up here. Okay, so that went... <laughs> that went pretty well. All things considered, right? Go ahead and reload. Jack, you move up here. You reload as well. Ed. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is a trap UFO. Pretty sure. 
Which means we've got, uh, that's two groups. There'll probably be at least two more groups. Sounds like something else is already moving towards us. Okay, 73% chance to hit. Yeah, this is a little dicey, but let's see. If I go here, I'll have a flank right there on the Muton that'll be kind of pretty. We need to take care of this floater over here. Maybe I could do that with you. Well, six. It's pretty solid. Should be able to make this happen. We got a flank right here. Not a flank. He'll still have half cover. But that's a decent-ish spot to move to. It's a full cover position, so that's nice. See if you can get that. Nope. Alright. Maybe Jack can do it. Yeah, 90%. Should be able to handle that. There we go. Okay, so then we... Let's see. How do we want to do this? How many more shots do we have? Okay, we put Wu here. Got something over here. Then men. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm on it, Commander. Move Ed up. Take that shot. Nice. Okay, what else we get? We've got Barbosa. I'm going to put over there. Yeah, to shoot a missile, shoot a rocket at those guys next turn. I want to take this shot, but I'm concerned about him being in half cover. Yeah, I'm not wild about that. You know what? Hunker down. Hunker down. The Muton should move. Probably up here. Yep, because he was flanked. Okay, so that's fine. So he's basically not in this next combat turn. Then men's moving up. Taking a shot. All the front people are undercover. Okay, that's fine. I think that's the only target they're going to have, right? Okay. Ooh. Let's see. What can we do here? Do some rocket action like this. But it's probably best. Steady weapon. Uh, I could suppress. I could still use suppression, so that's good. 73%, 58%. Okay, and Wu, why don't you just, will all three of those guys get a, two of these guys are going to get reaction shots on you, probably. I'm on it, Commander. Yeah, 17% chance to get hit. And of course he gets hit, because why wouldn't he? It's raining death over here. I swear, man, lightning reflexes is like almost worthless. Oh, I've been hit with a 3% chance and now a 17% chance. I know that my my buddy Marb, Marbazir is going has had the exact same experience. It's like okay, scouts used to be a thing that you could use and rely on, but not so much anymore. Got a ninety one percent chance to hit that guy, huh? Yeah, it's a little too risky, to however, to stay like that. So we're gonna move back. Steady weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna move up here and reload. Let's see, Jack is gonna overwatch from up here. Ed's gonna take a shot at this guy. It's a decent hit. And then he's going to hunker down. I'm 
Gonna suppress this one. Two percent chance to hit. Misses. Good. I'm under fire. Thirty-two percent chance to be hit. Miss. Good. I'm fire. This is risky. Another thirty-two percent. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I was afraid of that. Please miss. Please miss. I'm all right. Okay, now we've got to start clearing some of these guys or we're going to be in big trouble. Okay, so let's see. First things first. You need to heal yourself. There we go. Now. Should have a decent shot on one of these at least. 100%. Okay, let's take that, and that's a kill. Peace out. Okay, next. 338. Okay, now we're gonna go for some rocket action. Mm-hmm, like this. That looks pretty solid. 1.1 scatter is not bad at all. Make it... Definitely want to try to destroy the cover. I don't get the kill, right? Okay, that looks decent-ish. Cover gone? No. But they got hurt, so that's good. Eight, seventy-one. Hmm. Dash. Ah, you're hurt, so I can't do much with you. Here, let's, let's pull you back here. I don't want you up front like that. Okay, and... Maria can move up. Hunker down. Jack can stay where he's at. And Overwatch, Ed. Gotta finish off that guy. There we go. Okay, reload. Should have reloaded and then fired. That was a little bit of a mistake, but it's okay. Okay, missed. What's, what's this Muton doing? Is he gonna run to some forward cover? Or? Okay, Thamin pulled back. Weird. But, okay. Can we shoot him with our sniper? The Muton, I mean. Yeah, we can. Great. Light him up. Good hit. Let's see. 63%. Uh, hmm, hold that thought. Nice. There we go. Hostile eliminated. Hostile eliminated. Okay, let's move up a little bit. Hunker down. Overwatch over here. 63% chance to kill him. Yeah, I'll do that. I can overwatch here. And... It, can I actually here. get a shot from here? No. Alright. I'll, I'll take this shot. If it hits, it's a kill. Nice. So we've got, what, one thin man up? And one... Loader. Really? Okay. Overwatch. Where's this floater at? I have no idea. Okay, go ahead and patch yourself up again. Oh, 
Oh, I hear the floater. Yeah, that means I need to reposition. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here, actually. Okay. You've got a med kit. Patch him up. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. So I've got one med kit left. Right? Yep, that's it. Reload. Reload. Back online. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. There he is. Hello, Mr. Floater. They're trying to pull back. Okay, so let's see. We can take him out, or at least hurt him. Or kill him, that works too. Nice shot. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we gotta move forward now. Here, let's do this. You slide over here and reload. And then... Ed, move up here. Yep, just one thin man left. Okay. Overwatch. Okay, let's reposition a little bit. Over to here. Move back up with Maria. Overwatch. Okay, let's move forward up over here. Hunker down. Jack, let's get you up here. Kind of pointless having you sit back there forever. Where's Andrew at? Come here, Andrew. Making the run for it. Okay, so steady weapon, overwatch everyone else, then we'll move forward with Andrew. Search for this thin man. Okay. Hey, you hear anything? Yep, I do. Thirty percent chance. Nice! Oh, that was so nice. Good shot. Okay. Got it moving. Now, where's that meld at? Did we lose it already? Because I didn't hear it expire. So, we might actually be able to go grab it. That would be nice. Okay, and let's see. Jack can move up as well. Hmm, we better line up over here. Yep, Ed can move forward. Barbosa can move up. And we can relocate the sniper. Okay, Overwatch. Hey, Andrew, go take a peek. Yeah, I want to move here, but I'm afraid we're going to spot the, uh... Maybe that's the fastest way to do it, actually. The Outsider? Yeah, we could just kill the Outsider and be done with it, right? In theory. Here, let's put Jack over here. Steady weapon here. Put Ed right here. Reload. Maybe move. This would give us pretty decent sight lines. Like from right here. Moving to position. Yeah. Shoot into this doorway or we can shoot right here. That's not bad. Let's steady weapon. And 
and you can stay right where you're at. And you can stay where you're at and just steady weapon. Ready to engage. You hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Pop it. Clear to engage. So this might not have been a trap, actually. It might not have been a trap UFO, because this is only like, what, 12 aliens or something? Yeah, it was just a landed. But I didn't know, right? I didn't know that's what it was going to be, so... It's, it's, it's always a good idea to, you know, err on the side of caution anytime you've got a landed like that. I can't see... All right, let's move up. Come on. Don't be silly. Oh, when it does this. Come on now. Well, he's highlighted red, so... Come on. I hope that works. Yep, disoriented. Good. All right, now move up. I'm rolling. Right here. And I'm on it. Come on. Let's move in. We'll suppress him as well. Suppressing. Because they have ridiculously high aim and he can one shot anyone that I have here, so let's just let's just be cautious, right? Okay, and then Andrew can move here. Then move in for a flank next turn. Okay, and... We're unlikely to get a shot at this guy with the sniper, but... Uh, here, let's go like over here in case it manages to get to the middle of the UFO. We'll have a shot through the doorway there. Yep, hunkered down. Okay, that's kind of what I figured would happen. Steady weapon. Got it covered. Move up. Just keep suppressing him. Yep. Then solid copy. Move in. Roger that. He's really suppressed. Super suppression in the house. Understood, sir. Okay. Any chance to hit? Mm, Sixty-three. That's not terrible, but I think we'll just steady weapon. Moving out. Dash up. Okay, move. Our engineer in. go. Use another flashbang, because why not? We have it. The reason I'm not using explosives and just killing him is because I have a chance to get all of this intact equipment, and uh, I'd like to leave with it intact. So, same reason why I'm not using a rocket. Got a 1% chance to hit, so we're okay. Alright, so now Wu can slide over here. Heading for that location. There we go. Take a shot. Give us hollow targeting. Eight crit. Nice shot. And then... Why don't you get the kill? Welcome. There we go. Death by medic. <laughs> well, it was a good mission. It wasn't a trap, though. It would have been a lot worse, I think, if it had been a trap. Okay, so wounded for 29 days, that's not so great, but it'll be alright. Uh, and wounded for 20 days, which seems like a lot, but remember, we're playing on Dynamic War, so that's like a 8-9 day deal there. It's not really 
as bad as it might look. Okay, so let's do these promotions. Flush Aggression Battle Scanner. Well, I really do like the idea of building concealment scouts that have battle scanners since you can actually throw a battle scanner from concealment. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Grab battle scanner for Andrew and then next level we'll get uh, we'll get concealment, which will be pretty nice. Yep. Now, what I don't know, and uh, I've been talking about this in the comments of one of the videos, is that even though alloy shivs cost a lot, like 80 alloys, which is kind of ridiculous, what I want to confirm is whether or not the full cover they provide counts for concealment. Because if it does, you could, in theory, you know, move your little alloy shiv out there, right? And then rush your scout out, your concealment scout, and as long as no alien can see your scout rush to the full cover, then you're safe. So in theory, you could have the alloy shiv out there and the scout, and then you could throw battle scanners from a very forward position and kind of see and control the whole battlefield. Now the downside is, if that does work, if the shiv was to get destroyed, there goes your cover. So, eh, you know, there's pluses and minuses to every strategy, but I think that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's see. Oh, gunnery sergeant. Nice. Okay, so we're going to continue our build here. Wing squad sight, dead eye, snapshot, ranger, vital point targeting, and then a lot of people like to do uh, bring them on for the extra damage, but for a snapshot sniper, lock and load is really the way you want to go so that you don't have to break your, your chain once you get in the zone. So we'll be grabbing lock and load. And another promotion. Great. Let's see. Uh, you're a, essentially a utility engineer. Hmm. Don't have suppression. So that makes mayhem less useful. So dense smoke if I'm actually going to carry smoke grenades, which at times I may, or battle scanners. Hmm. I think since we have smoke and mirrors, it makes more sense to have dense smoke. And the scouts are going to carry battle scanners for me. Barbosa. Suppression, platform stability, shredder ammo. Well. Or platform stability. I think platform stability, actually. Yeah. Uh, suppression's cool too, from a utility standpoint. But the problem with um, the problem with suppression is that generally rocketeers, you give them, um, you know, smaller capacity weapons in terms of ammo. So they're not so great with that. So it's really between: do you want shredder ammo, um, or do you want platform stability? I like the idea of platform stability. I'm going to go with that. Okay, and then here we've got a choice between ready for anything, smoke grenade, or paramedic. That's going to be paramedic. That's just too useful. It's like the best perk in the tree, really. To be able to use a med kit as a free action. Yeah, that's awesome. What do we get here? Five floater corpses, some thin men corpses, a bunch of valerium, and alloys. Get picked up two more flight computers and a power source. That was a really nice mission. Okay, let's take a look at the barracks real quick. I think we're gonna have... Yeah, we're gonna have another round of promotions here pretty soon, it looks like. Yeah, people are getting like, whatever, three or four experience a day from training. And let's look at our wounded. Three days, we've got Wolf back. Monster comes back in six days. That's good. Then I did the time. I I checked the timing on this. That's when we actually have to do another um, covert op. So he'll get out of the mid bay, and then we'll do a scan for a covert op mission. And Thomas is back in one day. Okay, good, good. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.